Hey there, YouTube, back again. Armchair philosopher or fragments of memory. That's who I be. Now, I want to continue with my black people, Cerebral Madness's rant. One of the things she discussed was the moral poverty in blacks, not a poverty in wealth. And we seem to have a lot of moral issues. This does not exonerate or excuse the misdeeds of other ethnic or racial or color communities, but with blacks, the American born American educated black man and woman, we tend to have problems like children out of wedlock, drug use and abuse, depending on the government. Not all blacks, more whites on welfare than blacks, but we that that's is something that we tend to be associated with. So our sexual behaviors need to be careful. For black men, if we're going to engage in sex, I say take those precautions to not get the woman pregnant or spread, spread disease or catch disease. Same thing goes for the black women. Take whatever precautions you need. I think abstinence is the best thing. But if you, if you ignore the rules of abstinence, take, the, take those necessary precautions to lessen your chances of catching a disease or having a baby. I always talk about this a lot with a lot of the young black ladies out here, high school age, college age, and thereafter. I noticed that a lot of them wear clothing that calls attention to their anatomy, that calls attention to the shapes of their breasts, hips, buttocks, and thighs. And, and what message is that sending to these men out here? I think about the young men sagging their pants, showing their underwear to everybody, or wearing skinny jeans. And that bothers me just a little bit. Um, I do feel that we do need to go back to a moral foundation. I do feel that our predecessors had morality and had morals. But many abandoned them for the sake of self-gratification. And again, I pro provide the disclaimer that I am not perfect. You are not perfect. None of us are perfect. The only one that is perfect is the Almighty God, and that's it. So I don't want to come off as though I'm this judge standing on my pedestal and I've got the sword of God in my hand. I'm going to slice everybody down because I have to say this to me as well as to anyone who might pick up this video or subscribe to my channel. Um, I do find that black women seem to attack one another. There seems to be this civil war from blacks among blacks. The whole, art, the whole dichotomy of black versus black man, black woman versus black woman. And I do find that black women tend to be catty towards one another. There tends to be a level of hatred towards one another, as well as a crabs in a barrel mentality. And, and the same thing goes for true for black men as well. Um, we are dysfunctional people. We need to get our lives and affairs in order. We do need counseling. I like that. I would ask you, though, who would be the one to do the counseling? Or if we do have this meeting of the mind, so to speak, do we need to... I do agree that we need to sort of discard things like blame and defensiveness and pride and just try to settle things. Um, and no, not everyone of one race is alike. Not all people think alike. So lumping all people together, people lump things together so things can be more simplified. So I don't have to sit there and dissect and weigh things out all the time because let's face it, many people are lazy, mentally lazy. Like we don't want to do the mental work to sort of re-examine and challenge our worldview. We just want to say, this is my worldview and I'm sticking to it. As opposed to, hey, I have a worldview, let's see what challenges may come to challenge that, that, that worldview or the conventional wisdom. Um, I can totally understand that your soul is hurt. Hurts me too to see my people, you know, in the mess of situation that they're in. And I do feel that America historically has messed up black people. And I'll agree with you, too, that we both have messed ourselves up as well. We messed ourselves up as well because we bought into the hype. We tried to be bigger than what we are. We tried to let the white man, first it was the white man, now it's us destroying each other. And we're co-conspirators and collaborators in our own destruction. You, you, you asked a very interesting question. Should blacks separate from one another? Should like the blacks that are positive and doing the right things just kind of go, 
deuces and kind of form their own thing and the blacks that aren't so positive and doing their own thing and getting caught up in the vices and malfunctions of character just be eradicated or be left to their own devices and self-destruct I've thought about that somewhere but then I have mixed feelings about that now, I won't go into, into it into this, into this video but I just wanted to sort of say I feel you where you're coming from but I don't know how to respond to that I don't know how to give you a quick answer so that's something I need to wrestle with in my mind let it stir around let it marinate in my brain and then somehow give it back to the YouTube verse well, with that being said, I thank you for your video. I thank you for putting your information out on the airwaves, Miss Cerebral Madness. Um, thank you. Peace.